welcome to Ghost Hash Crypto Mining. I hope everyone's having a splendid morning. In today's video, I want to talk about this GTX 1060. I picked this up on OfferUp. I offered the guy $150. Accepted, and here it is. So, the difference between this card, for those of you that uh, are not familiar with graphic cards and mining uh, this is an Nvidia card so there are two main uh, players in the graphic card game there are AMD cards and their Nvidia cards the differences in the way you overclock Nvidia cards as opposed to AMD cards they are miners specifically optimized to run Nvidia cards while their miners specifically optimized for AMD cards so this is a different world altogether that I'm gonna get back involved in I've mined before I've had 1660 supers in the past didn't have an issue very easy to overclock in my opinion I ran them on Hive OS however I've never run uh, an Nvidia card on a Windows uh, miner so we're gonna try this out I'm gonna go on what to mine.com see what's profitable see how much we can make we're gonna check what profitability is out there um, I'm gonna check and see what where I came in as far as price uh, this thing looks pretty new seals are intact there's not a, a hint of dust on this entire thing and the gentleman told me that he did not use it much at all and by the look of it I believe him so I don't want to waste any more time I want to slap this bad boy right in here I want to power it on and I want to get mining so for the video I'm gonna use T-Rex miner if you guys don't know T-Rex miner is like Team Red miner for AMD cards but this is for Nvidia cards T-Rex Miner is optimized for Nvidia cards. Wow. Team Red Miner is optimized for AMD cards. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. Let me hop. All right, guys, here we are on the desktop on whattomine.com. I got one 1060 chosen. I'm going to hit calculate just so that the stats are up to date. Looks like mining on ETH is what's going to do it. Let's see what else we got here. So flux, you can make 78 cents. Swap, a dollar 12. If you mine on nice hash, you make 126. Fyro, 107, 85 cent take home. I'm gonna go with nice hash, and we're gonna do ETH hash, nice hash, dagger hashimoto. All right, so let's do that. So as you can see here, we're mining already. It still hasn't reported a hash rate. But uh, we got the miner up. We got our overclock our afterburner loaded up here. Uh, this is what I did for overclock. I got the power limit set at 65, plus 75 on the memory clock, plus zero. I just did a bunch of troubleshooting off camera and no matter what I do, anything above 750 on the memory gives me a crash, even if I have it at 80 power and when I raise the core to 100 it does absolutely nothing when I raise it to 200 it does absolutely nothing when I go negative on the core it does absolutely absolutely nothing for the hash rate either so these are the most stable I mean I can get it to run at 800 for about 30 minutes and then I lose temperature control or temperature uh, or the fan sensor the the Miner stops detecting the, the fan speed or the GPU temp. So I don't know what that's about. I did some research. It seems like a common problem with this model of 1060. Something with the overclocks being too aggressive, I guess. So I scaled it back and this is what we got. 20.28 mega hash on 111 watts. That goes down to about 109 watts and stays steady at 109, 108, 106 watts between there. But 
that's how this has been mining ETH for me. It just picked up a share here. As you can see, it started mining again. So now that we see what it does with ETH, let's try it on a different algorithm. Let's say, let's try it on Auto Lycos. Ergo, let's see what's up with that. I'll be right back. So we're getting about 42.17 mega hash on auto Lycos with it. Not too bad. I mean, it is consuming about 86 watts of power. Uh, problem being is that with the four gigabyte card, you actually do a little better. You're going to consume a little more power, but you're going to get about 60 to 67 to 72 mega hash per card on the RX 580. I know that. We'll test it out here a little later. But for the AMD cards, I'm going to use Team Red Miner. And for this, I'm using T-Rex. And just an FYI, we're mining the nice hash on all of these. So we're going to try these algorithms on nice hash and see, you know, what, how much we can get. So... So far we got 20.23 on ETH and 42.19 on Auto Lycos. I'm going to write that down and we're going to try another algorithm. First before I do that though, let's actually jump this up a little and see what happens. See if it crashes my computer again. Let's go up to 800 on the memory. Okay, everything still looks pretty fluid, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I would just screen record this, guys, but mining on this PC and screen recording it, it's going to crash. I know that much. I, it happened to me last night when I was mining. Then the power went up in the whole neighborhood. Some kind of transformer blew up. This, this video is coming to you delayed. It should have been at your doorstep this morning. But my apologies. Better, la better late than never. And let's see what that has done. So, we're still at 42.20 mega hash up. We bumped up a little bit. I don't know if it's anything noteworthy. Let's see if we get anything out of reducing the core. So I did negative 100 on the core. Let's see what the result is here. Alright, so little bit of a difference there as well. Everything looks pretty stable. It's actually jumping up and down. But you know that um, Auto Lycos, the algorithm itself uh, fluctuates quite a bit. But let's try, but let's try, but let's try, let's try 850 guys, why not, right? I'm going to give it 70% power though. And let's go. Let's see how high we can get it. Nothing crazy. What do you guys think? 42.76. Let's wait a second. Let's see one more. One more go around. 42.92. Oh, if we get 43, I'll be happy. 43, let's go. 43, let's go. 0.96 all right and it looks like it's stabilizing right around there so that's auto lycos folks we're about 43 mega hash on auto lycos 42.94 i'll write that down and we'll move on to kapow okay so here we are mining kapow it's 130 watts 11.64 mega hash roughly 11.7 it, it fluctuates in that range these are the overclocks. It took me a little while to figure them out, but this this is what runs stable. I can't get it to run any more stable than than this. We got 11. I'm gonna mark the highest, which is 11.7. 11.7 for Kapow. All right. After much tinkering, this is what we got. 20.22. When I go higher than 750 on the memory, it tweaks out. It's crashed on me once already. 
and GPU clock hash rate seems to go up as far as negative 300 when I go lower it doesn't seem to affect the hash rate at all so I'm thinking this is the most stable we're gonna get this I'm gonna play around with it a little more but and this is ETC all right to sum it up uh, our ethereum our GTX 1060 mining ethereum can do 20.32 mega hash Ergo, it does 42.93 mega hash. Ravencoin, it does 11.7 mega hash. Ethereum Classic, it does 20.22 mega hash. So, where does that leave it in comparison to something like, let's say, the RX 580? I don't know. Um, depends what you want to mine. If you want to mine Ethereum, you're not going to mine Ethereum with the RX 584 gigabyte. You can mine it with this. So if you want to mine Ethereum, this is a better option. If you want to mine Ergo, I get about 25 more mega hash out of a 4 gigabyte 580 than I do out of the 1060. Also, Ravencoin, I get about 15 mega hash, 16 mega hash sometimes out of an RX 580. This I was only getting up to 12. Ethereum Classic, same same deal. I'd get close to 30 mega hash, if not a little more. And on, on this one, I was getting about 20.22. So honestly speaking, the cards you're gonna mine with this are gonna, I mean, the coins you're gonna mine with this are totally different than what you're gonna mine with a four gigabyte AMD card. I'm gonna make a comparison video. I already made a video about this RX 580 and RX 470s and RX 570s, all AMD cards and their hash rates. I'm gonna link that in the right hand corner. Check that video out. And um, I'm also, I'm gonna do some mining, some new algorithms with this. I wanna mine Flux. I wanna mine some coins that are uh, more profitable with NVIDIA uh, 10 series graphic cards. So I'm gonna take a look at what to mine. This is gonna be on a uh, future video. We're gonna go through all the coins, all the algorithms and see what you're more profitable mining post Ethereum 2.0 and you know, now. So anyway, I appreciate everybody tuning into this video. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and I always appreciate the comments. I'll see you guys soon. Have a great day.